No one saw this coming. While the world was obsessing over battery breakthroughs, charging speeds, and electric range wars, Koenigsegg was doing something far more dangerous. They were building a weapon. And it wasn't electric. At the Geneva Motor Show, while journalists prepared predictable headlines about yet another EV prototype, Christian von Koenigsegg walked onto the stage and shattered the entire automotive narrative with a single reveal. What he unveiled didn't just compete with electric vehicles. It erased their advantage. This wasn't a new hybrid. This wasn't an EV alternative. This was a new category of power. They called it dark matter. And if you think the future of cars is electric only, stay with me, because what you're about to hear might end that belief forever. Before we go any further, hit like and subscribe if you want the kind of automotive truth that doesn't come from press releases or corporate PR, because what Koenigsegg just unleashed could rewrite the future of mobility. The Geneva Motor Show was supposed to be safe, predictable, sanitized, electric, sleek EV concepts, buzzwords about sustainability. Another Tesla killer that wasn't. The media already had their stories written. Then Koenigsegg arrived. No leaks. No teasers. No warnings. Just one car. One sound. And a moment that split automotive history in two. It didn't hum. It didn't whisper. It roared. That sound alone felt illegal in a world obsessed with silence. And standing calmly beside it was Christian von Koenigsegg, looking less like a CEO and more like a scientist who just discovered a way to bend reality. Behind him sat a motor so compact it could fit inside a carry-on suitcase. And yet, carried the power of a thunderstorm. Journalists froze. Engineers went silent. Executives panicked. Because this wasn't a launch. It was a reckoning. This wasn't an accident. Koenigsegg has never played by the industry's rules. While mainstream automakers chase autonomy and software subscriptions, Koenigsegg obsesses over physics. They don't try to remove the driver. They try to amplify the human-machine connection. Other companies worship updates. Koenigsegg worships perfection. This is the same company that invented camless engines, developed free valve technology, rewrote what transmissions could be. So when they said they had built something different, the industry should have listened, because dark matter wasn't designed to fit into the EV future. It was designed to replace it. Let's talk numbers because they sound fake. 800 horsepower, 922 LBFT of torque, zero gears, no transmission, no clutch, no lag, instant torque from zero RPM. This motor doesn't measure zero to 60 times. It measures shockwaves. And Koenigsegg didn't debut it in just any car. They dropped it into the Jesco, a car that was already rewriting speed records. Then they did something insane. They deleted their own world-class transmission, ripped it out, scrapped it, replaced it, because dark matter made it obsolete. The result? 1,400 horsepower delivered in one uninterrupted wave. No shifts, no pauses, no mercy. The Jesco doesn't accelerate anymore. It warps. So how does a company with fewer than 500 employees embarrass Porsche, Tesla, Rimac, and Mercedes AMG? Simple. They disappeared. While the rest of the industry fought over lithium supply chains and government incentives, Koenigsegg went silent. No press. No prototypes. No leaks. Inside a secluded Swedish lab surrounded by frozen forests, a handful of engineers built something that didn't belong to any category. Not electric. Not combustion. Not hybrid. Something else. A six-phase radial flux motor. Axial cooling. Silicon carbide inverter. Oil-cooled stator. No rare earth magnets. No compromise. They called it dark matter because it rewrote the mass-to-energy equation. Here's the part that should scare every EV executive. Dark matter is the size of a watermelon, and it delivers full torque instantly. No spooling, no software tricks, no artificial feel, just raw, relentless output. And unlike EV motors, no rare earth mining, no fragile battery dependency, no thermal runaway nightmares. Even worse, it's modular. This isn't locked inside a million dollar hypercar forever. Can scale, sedans, supercars, SUVs. That's when the danger becomes real. 
because this isn't a prototype. It's a platform. Traditional transmissions are a liability. They add weight. They waste energy. They break. They interrupt power. EVs avoided them. Hybrids couldn't until now. Dark matter erases the gearbox's purpose. Thanks to torque vectoring and single-stage reduction, power flows without interruption. No shifts. No lag. No drop in momentum. Driving it feels less like a car, and more like a guided missile. Every other hybrid instantly feels ancient. Here's the truth no one wants to admit. EVs are heavy. EVs rely on fragile supply chains. EVs depend on massive battery packs and charging infrastructure. Dark matter doesn't. No cobalt. No grid anxiety. No 1,200-pound lithium slab under your seat. It sips fuel when needed. Draws electricity when optimal. Delivers peak performance all the time. This isn't nostalgia. This isn't a step backward. This is fusion. And it threatens the EV elite. Christian von Koenigsegg once said, The internal combustion engine isn't dead. It's just been neglected. That sentence explains everything. While others lobby governments and chase subsidies, Koenigsegg builds for a post-regulation world where only engineering superiority survives. They don't follow trends. They force the industry to react. Dark matter isn't just a motor. It's a manifesto, a declaration that the future isn't electric only. That innovation didn't end with batteries. That performance, efficiency, and emotion can coexist. The EV timeline just split, and Koenigsegg opened a third path. The question now isn't if the industry follows. It's how fast. If this changed how you see the future of cars, hit like. Subscribe for the kind of next-gen tech the mainstream won't touch. And drop a comment below. Backhand index pointing right, did the EV era just peak? Or is this evolution? Because after dark matter, nothing feels inevitable anymore.